Hey everyone, I'm Harry Collins, and in this video I want to talk to you a little bit about my experiences last week while I was in Africa filming leopards with my Canon R3. All of the clips that you'll see in this video I shot at 120 frames per second um, in all eye quality. Um, I've been shooting a lot more in 120p lately just because it gives you a little bit more flexibility for slow motion and uh, with wildlife it just makes everything look a little bit more dramatic. Um, and then you also have the option to speed it back up if you want for normal speed later. Um, the downside to this is with the R3 and the R5 as well, um, when recording in 120p, uh, the camera does not record audio. So keep that in mind. If you need the audio and need to speed the footage back up, you'll need an external recorder. Typically when I'm filming wildlife, um, I prefer to manually focus, but on this trip I wanted to push the limits of the autofocus to see what this camera was capable of doing. And I have to say I was really pleasantly surprised. Filming in Africa is, is a real challenge. Uh, you're filming from a vehicle most of the time. Uh, the animals are almost always in tall grass. There's a lot of objects that get in the way. And uh, the R3 just handled this unbelievably well. I mean, I was actually really shocked how well it was able to track. Um, as the, these leopards were moving in and out of grass behind grass mounds. Uh, the camera just stayed locked on almost all the time, um, and which is awesome. It makes my job so much easier. But one thing to keep in mind if you're going to film in uh, 120p um, in the all eye quality mode, a um, 128 gig card is going to get you about anywhere from six to seven minutes tops of footage. So you're going to need some extra cards and a pretty heavy duty computer to process uh, the film on the back end. Another one of the challenges uh, with filming in Africa, especially this time of year, was uh, the weather. I mean, it was sunny, hot, and the heat waves were, were very prominent by, you know, maybe a half hour after sunrise. So um, on this day, I found these leopards, you know, closer to midday, and uh, the heat shimmer was just brutal. And uh, even still, um, I was able to salvage all of this video uh, footage, and the camera never really lost focus again, uh, which to me is just tremendous. Um, I can't say enough good things about this camera. Even despite all the hot temperatures and filming, you know, for hours at a time, um, the camera did not overheat once. Um, that was not an issue. Um, I do also shoot on an R5, and you know, I've been filming on that for the last almost two years now, um, and that camera has overheated a few times, um, but I've yet to experience that with the R3. So just to wrap this video up, um, you know, I'm not paid by Canon. I'm not given anything um, to say any of this. This is my true, honest opinion on this camera. Um, it is hands down um, my favorite camera I've ever used. I've shot with the Z9, the A1, the R5, and so on. Um, my personal opinion, there's nothing out there that's better than the R3.